Okay, uh, that works. All right. Uh, welcome to the finals of the uh, Peace Tech National 2017 between the University of Michigan and the University of Maryland. One game final for the championship. Okay, uh, both teams ready? You guys can hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. All right, hopefully everybody in the back can hear me as well. Here we go, toss up one. This character declares, Thou to me art all things under heaven, in an embedded sonnet alluding to dreams, some great good presaging. This character recalls, I started back, it started back, but please I soon returned, as she observed the smooth, watery image of her own reflection. E. Ten. Woo! Your bonus. According to one account of this event, one participant grabbed the reins of the other's horse and asked him, Who is greater, Muhammad or Bastami? For ten points each. Name this oft-mythologized event, which in another version involved one participant throwing the other's books into a fountain with the books remaining bone dry. Answer? No, it's the first meaning of Jalal ad-Din Muhammad Rumi and Shams of Tabriz. Although Rumi wrote in Turkic, Arabic, and Greek, he's most famous for his verse written in this language, which was used by Omar Khayyam to write the Rubaiyat. Yeah. Uh, Rumi sometimes wrote in this poetic form of five or more couplets in which either the same word or the same rhyme ends both lines of the first couplet and the second line of the remaining ones. The last couplet of these love poems usually mentions the poet's pen name. Correct, for Schwaninger. Class of two. This anthropologist developed a closed corporate community framework to understand why Mesoamerican and Javanese peasant economies exhibited similar behavior. He studied the formation of ideologies under social stress <coughs> among the Quaquibul, the Aztecs, and the Nazis in his book, Envisioning Power. During the Vietnam War, he collaborated with Marshall Salins to lead the first teach-in at Michigan. In his major work, this author critiqued the static conception of culture, which he redefined as a series of processes that construct, reconstruct, and dismantle existing cultural symbolism in response to in, in identifiable determinants. In that book, this anthropologist identified kin order, tributary, and capitalist modes of production, and analyzed cultural transformations among displaced peasants and colonized people. Cool. That's right. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Your bonus. With Bergman and Leibowitz, this physicist created the two-state vector formalism of quantum mechanics, in which each wave function has a component evolving backward in time, as well as one evolving forward. Can't quite teach. Name this physicist who worked with Albert and Weidman to develop a theory of weak values, which he used to show that performing both pre- and post-selection of quantum states appears to retroactively affect measurements. No, it's uh, Yakir Aharonov. Weak measurements can be used to can be made using this experimental setup in which individually detectable, detected particles form an interference pattern on a screen. The original version of this experiment demonstrated the weak nature of light. Yeah. Uh, Scully and Drool proposed this variant of the double slit experiment in which no interference pattern forms when measuring uh, which path each particle takes unless the which path data is prevented from reaching the detector. Say again? Delay choice. No, it's quantum eraser. Uh, you got uh, 10 points. Right? Right. Cost of three. <laughs> Labeling biomolecules well with malamide uh, requires first applying TCEP to cleave any occurrences of this functional group. Iodo acetamide is an alkylating agent used to block the formation of this functional group. Ammonium glycolate cleaves this functional group. A coenzyme that contains a bond of this type in a five-membered ring uses a swinging arm to carry the acetyl group between the E1 and E3 subunits of the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. A six-membered ring containing this functional group and two alcohols occurs in the oxidized form of DTT. A selenocysteine containing peroxidase catalyzes the dimerization of a tripeptide that is not what I have. Um, next five, uh, catalyzes the dimerization of a tripeptide antioxidant by forming one of these functional groups. Uh, sweetening gasoline involves catalyzing the synthesis of these bonds to reduce gas odor and toxic emissions. Beta mercapto ethanol is used to reduce these bonds before a protein is run on a page gel. Campoids in this functional group form when two cysteines are oxidized, named for the presence of two atoms of a certain element. No, it's a disulfide group. Or disulfide bond or disulfide or whatever. Okay, uh, toss of four. During a conversation about history in this novel, a character describes the human will standing alone in a public square where his flesh melts off when the god of inevitability proclaims that chance does not exist. 
In another episode from this novel, two exchange students sift through 200 yards of wet grass for an emerald set gold ring engraved with the faces of two yasha. In this novel, the maid Tadashina helps a teenager who keeps a prophetic dream diary arrange secret trysts with a woman from the declining Ayakura family. At the end of this novel, Satoko joins Geshu Temple to become a nun, causing her lover to become deathly ill and promise to see his friend again beneath the falls. Set during the early Taisho era, this novel follows a young member of the upstart Matsugei clan with three moles on his left side, which reappear in subsequent incarnations as Isao and Yu Chan. And I'm voicing this novel about the friends Kiyoaki Matsuge and Shigakuni Honda, the first novel in Yukio Mishima's Sea of Fertility trilogy. Spring snow. That's technically Your bonus. Answer the following about paintings inspired by the Spanish Civil War of Genwood Teach. In the Salvador Dali painting titled Soft Construction with These Food Items, an arm bursting upward from a human leg twists the breast of a humanoid monster. That painting, which contains many of these food items, is subtitled Premonition of Civil War. That's right. A gourd horse and a bull appear in this famous Pablo Picasso painting, responding to the bombing of the title Basque Town by the Condor Legion. Franco's defeat of the Spanish Republic inspired Max Ernst to create this 1937 painting in which a red, blue, and orange dragon appears to be celebrating. Ernst said he depicted a clumsy oaf which destroys everything. Um, uh, yeah, sorry, Uber Say again? Uber Uber. No, it's the Fireside Angel. Uh, you get 20 points. That's a five. This country's government juiced up the economy with debt-financed FARO projects and the correction for inflation scheme. In this country, the October 8th revolutionary movement ransomed U.S. Ambassador Charles Burke Eldrick for 15 prisoners. This country's government responded to the March of 100,000 student-led protests by cracking down on its restricted democracy with the Fifth Institutional Act. A focal point for dissent in this country was the death of journalist Vladimir Herzog in a Brazil. Ten. Nice. Your bonus. This word is uttered after the speaker begins to recognize this thing that was approaching to possess her as she was striving to beat it back against her will, as powerless as her two white slender hands would have been. For ten points each, name this word that in a short story, a woman repeatedly whispers to herself as she thinks of the face that had never looked save with love upon her, fixed and gray and dead. Oh. Free, I think, Free. Yes. The aforementioned events occur in the story of an hour, a work by this woman who lived in New Orleans and created Edna Pontelier. Yeah. In this other Japan story, Mrs. Summers goes on a shopping spree with $15 that she has intended to use uh, to buy clothes for her children after her attention is captured by the type of articles of clothing. That is 30 points. <coughs> Classic six. In the Thebea, Statius explicitly writes that the outcome of one of these events foreshadows that Madrasus will be the only survivor of the seven against Thebes. A participant in one of these events mentions a king named Echetus, who kills everyone who comes near him, and recounts the story of how Eurytion's drunkenness led to the war between the Lapids and the Centaurs in an unsuccessful attempt to dissuade a bystander from becoming involved. The participants in that one of these events make use of a huge ball of lard brought by the goat herd Melanthius. In the Aeneid, an omen likened to a shooting star occurs during one of these events, after which Aeneas gives an engraved bowl to... And... Well, an archery contest? Nice. Uh, your bonus! Answer the following about the ancient Greek sophist for 10 points each. The sophist Gorgias of the Antini wrote a notorious encomium, arguing that this mythological character was free of blame because speech can affect the soul in the same way that drugs affect the body. Um, answer? It's Helen of Troy. In this dialogue, Socrates shows a student of Gorgias that sophists cannot teach virtue because virtue cannot be taught. Socrates demonstrates that fact by helping a slave perform geometry. Yeah. Yeah. This sophist was famous for orating on the choice of Heracles between virtue and vice. His larger philosophical project involved drawing subtle distinctions between words to enforce the correct use of names. It's Prodicus of Chaos. You got 10 points. Toss of 7. Cells undergoing this process can be identified by the Thi 1 marker in flow cytometry and have a lineage denoted SCA1 positive, CKIT positive, and LIN negative. Those cells can be identified by planting them on a stromal feeder layer and observing the formation of a cobblestone like region. 
for porous caused by the occurrence of this process outside of its normal location can lead to blueberry, buff blueberry muffin babies. That extra medullary form of this process occurs in the thymus, liver, and spleen. Colony stimulating factors direct the different branches of this process. This Monocytes differentiating the peppermates. That is accurate. Um, Colony-stimulating factors direct the different branches of this process. This process begins with either a common myeloid or a common lymphoid progenitor derived from one of its namesake stem cells. The kidney secretes a hormone that stimulates this process known as reperfoetin, and it occurs predominantly in the bone marrow. Tempoids name the process in which blood cells are made. That is not one of the acceptable answers. Uh, Hematopoiesis, or erythropoiesis, or hematogenesis. Hematogenesis. <laughs> yeah, hematogenesis was the time. Okay, toss of eight. <clears throat> Judge Fold of the New York Court of Appeals held that a company in this industry could avoid liability by contributing one acid each into ten separate corporations in the seminal veil piercing case, Walkowski v. Carlton. Fiorello LaGuardia confiscated police billy clubs to prevent clashes during a months long strike of this industry sparked by an unpopular nickel tax. In London, workers in this industry are required to study for up to four years for a comprehensive test of. Okay. 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 Your bonus. <clears throat> this city was the birthplace of Averroes and Maimonides and flourished as the center of a caliphate governed by several rulers named Abd al Rahman. <laughs> Named the city whose mosque cathedral was shared by Muslim and Christian worshippers in medieval Andalusia. Other examples of cultural minglings include the coins minted by this king of Mercia, uh, which displayed the message "There is no God but Allah alone" upside down because he thought the Arabic couldn't read uh, the, the Arabic he couldn't read looked pretty. He also built a namesake diamond. Uh, the Moroccan geographer Muhammad Ali Drisi attended this 12th century king, Norman king of Sicily, who combined Byzantine and Arabic influences in the spectacular Palatine Chapel in Palermo. Uh, that's 20 points, I suppose. Toss nine. Mm. Samuel Eliot Morrison's history of this document argued that Article 3, which provided tax support for Protestant teachers of piety, slipped through without a valid two-thirds vote. An early draft of this document was rejected thanks to the arguments of Theophilus Parsons, whose description of the need for vigor, secrecy, and dispatch was paraphrased in Federalist 70. This document required governors to hold 1,000 pounds of property in accordance with its author's earlier thoughts on government. The slaves Elizabeth... Uh, Say again? No, no. <clears throat> the slaves Elizabeth Freeman and Clock Walker won suits for freedom on the basis of this document's Declaration of Rights, which began, all men are born free and equal. This document was the earliest to implement Montesquieu's separation of powers between an executive, an independent judiciary, and a bicameral legislature. It adopted many of its provisions from the political lobby that John Hancock became the Essex Punto. Ken points saying this oldest continuously valid constitution in history, adopted in 1780 after being authored by James Bowdoin, Samuel Adams, and John Adams. Your bonus. An example of two groups with this property are the hydrogens of the CH2 group of two bromobutane for 10 points each. Name this relationship that exists between two identical groups on the same carbon atom if the carbon is adjacent to a chiral center, and changing one of these groups would result in a certain kind of stereoisomer. Although those two groups are technically identical, they split each other on an NMR diagram. Answer? These are called diastereotopic groups. Uh, in NMR, exchangeable protons can be identified by adding this compound to an NMR2 and shaking it to observe the disappearance of that proton's speed. That's right. Uh, the peaks of an NMR signal that is split have heights that can be predicted by disk construction, made for a French mathematician, which each element of the row is equal to the sum of the two elements. That's right. Uh, you get 20 points. Toss of 10. In the Netherlands, an artist with this attribute created an installation called the Arnhem Trolleybus Station, and it was known as the King of Stations. A Victorian artist with this attribute painted the cute, painted cute cats playing at human activities, such as golf. 
Hans Prinzhorn published a collection of... Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Your bonus. This ruler's subordinate, Constantius Chlorus, was forced to deal with Carastius' revolt in Britain after he himself failed. For example, it's Egypt. Name this Roman emperor a co-ruler of Diocletian who held the title of Augustus from 286 to 305. This ruler reclaimed the throne in 307 in the service of his son. Yelianus. No, it's Maximianus. Maximian held the title of Augustus with Diocletian, while Constantius Chlorus and Galerius held the title of Caesar as part of this system of rule imposed by Diocletian to resolve the third century crisis, etc. Yes. Maximilian and Constantius Chlorus ruled from this city in modern day Germany, an imperial residence in the late empire. Like Mainz and Cologne, this city's archbishop was an elector of the Holy Roman Empire. Here. 20. At halftime, we have a score of Maryland 135, Michigan 75. Okay. Those games. Okay. Both teams ready? Here we go. Toss the lot <clears throat> Observables for these objects that have one over Q power dependence include a universal two loop correction term called the Milan factor. Measurements of these objects are complicated by splash in effects like underlying event and pile of contamination. The anti case of T algorithm is the standard method for reconstructing these objects because it does not create dark towers and is unaffected by diffuse radiation, in addition to being infrared and collinear safe. These objects appear cone shaped when graphing. Yes. Ten. <laughs> Your bonus. Answer the following about the psychology of group conflict, for example, it's each. This psychologist found that superordinate goals could help integrate two previously opposed groups in the central experiment for realistic conflict theory. Yeah. Uh, Henry Ta Toshbell developed this experimental method to measure in-group bias by dividing participants based on meaningless criteria, such as whether they were told to prefer paintings by Clay or Kandinsky. Uh, Answer? It's called a minimal group paradigm. Students behave differently based on their designation as guards or inmates, and this notorious experiment conducted by Philip Zimbardo. That is correct for 20 points. Toss of 12. One film includes a close up of the trembling hand of a member of this organization as he tries to get a fly crawling on a broken grate to step onto his finger. Another film about two brothers in this organization ends with a long shot of one of the brothers wheeling his motorcycle away from a woman moaning over a letter that he had just given her along with a pendant. In that film, members of this organization watch from hiding as men violently shave that woman's head and force her to watch her house burn. In another film, a 17-minute static long take of two men smoking and talking at a table leads to a... Uh, leads to a recollection about a, uh, a drowning a dying foal on a cross-country team trip, which a member of this organization uses to justify his actions to a priest. In that film, depictions of the brutality during this organization's blanket and no-wash protest are followed by a lengthy sequence of a prisoner's body deteriorating under the title condition. Again, White's name this organization depicted in Ken Loach's The Wind That Shakes the Barley and Steve McQueen's Hunger, in which Michael Fassbender plays Bobby Sands. The IRA. That is correct. Your bonus. The originator of these constructs applied them to the Oedipus legend, creating a matrix of four vertical columns whose components are the elements of the story. Template teach. Name these fundamental elements into which folk tales are broken in the structural analysis of Claude Levi Strauss. Correct. Right. Uh, the French theorist René Girard argued that this mythological religious mechanism of exile was the foundation of human society. Its same comes from a ritual in Leviticus involving the animal. Sorry. What? Yeah. Uh, this uh, French narratologist extended Vladimir Prop's work on folk tales, identifying five elements of narrative syntax and proofs of remembrance, remembrance, back, remembrance of things past in the book Narrative Discourse. Answer? It's uh, Gerard Jeanette. 20 points. Class of 13. <clears throat> Surveyors of these institutions abhorred the shocking prevalence of daughter-in-law rights in which fathers chose wives for their underage sons so they could rape them. Liberals responded to August von Hochshausen's valorization of these institutions by tracing their origin back to 18th century tax policies. Young people labeled propagandists to these institutions were rounded up and imprisoned for the trial of the 193. 
And reform uh, to these institutions was pitched as a wager on the strong and sober. During the mad summer of 74, students recall from Switzerland donned shoddy clothes to join these institutions. Um, uh, time here. Uh, join these institutions as part of, going to the of the going to the people movement. Early 20th century reforms sought to eliminate their periodic rep repartitions by replacing these institutions with Otrup and Kutors. These institutions were made into a national symbol of the Slavophile movement and idealized as embryonic socialism by the Narodniki, for example, points in these peasant communes in Tsarist Russia. It's me or the machine. Oh, it's a big part though. I call time. I call time. Okay. 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 This concept was the subject of a 2003 book by Gregory Curry and Irene Ravenscroft, focusing on what they define as its recreative form. Kant discussed the transcendental form of this concept in the first edition of his Critique of Pure Reason, but omitted it from subsequent editions. Christopher Hill's writing on this concept have drawn on Thomas Nagel's lengthy footnote in What Is It Like to Be a Bat, distinguish, distinguishing between the perceptual and the sympathetic forms of this concept. Kant identified this concept with the synthesis of reproduction, which he grouped along with apprehension and recognition as one of the three mental faculties. This faculty's primary form was identified as the living power and prime agent of all human perception by Samuel Taylor Coleridge, who contrasted this faculty with another that merely rearranges pre-existing um, imagination. That, <laughs> Your bonus. This unfinished piece of chamber music includes a brief violin cadenza with the unique instruction Ungemein Rubato und Liebenschaftlich, for 10 points each. Name this piece whose first movement in A minor was preserved along with the sketch of the opening of the second movement, a G minor scherzo. It was composed a couple years before its composer's cantata, Das Plagen der Lied. Answer? No, it's Mahler's piano quartet. Uh, Clara Schumann played the piano at the premiere of this composer's piano quartet in G minor, the first of three works in this in the first of three works in the genre. His other compositions include a German Requiem and the Academic Festival Overture. Brahms' Opus 18 and Opus 36 are his only two pieces of this genre. Arnold Schoenberg's Opus 4 is a one-movement piece in this genre, inspired by a Richard Demo poem. Go on. Yeah. Good. Uh, that is funny. Okay, toss of 15. <clears throat> in a midrash, the emperor Hadrian mocks a 100-year-old man for engaging in this action, but rewards him with gold a year later. Rabbi Yohanan ben Zakkai told his followers that if they were doing this action when the Messiah came, to finish it before greeting him. Leviticus 19.23 includes the Orla, a three-year period after completing this action, during which it is forbidden to benefit. Uh, finishing that is not correct. Uh, during which it is forbidden to benefit from it, followed by a year in which only Israel may benefit. A passage in the Babylonian, or in the Babylonian, I don't know where, Talmud, presumably, originated the custom of doing this upon the birth of a child to prepare for its eventual marriage. The Jewish National Fund, which annually helps 80,000 tourists complete this action in Israel, claims to have done it 250 million times as part of its central mission. In the 20th century, it became the central ritual, ritual of the agricultural new year celebrated on Tu Bishvat. Again, points in its action that, when done upon the birth of a child, later provides building material for a kupa. That's ten. <clears throat> Your bonus. Eisenstein's power tower, which is Z to the Z to the Z and so on, can also be written as the negative of this function of the negative natural log of Z, all divided by the natural log of Z. Again, points each. Identify this function, or family of functions, defined as z times e to the z, where z is a complex number. <laughs> this is called the Lambert function. If one performs this operation on the Lambert omega function, then the result will be z minus z squared plus 3 halves z cubed, and so on. If this operation is centered on 0, then the Maclaurin series results. Uh, the Lambert omega function appears in many solutions to this kind of differential equation, such, a, such that x prime of t is equal to some function x of t minus p, where p is a positive integer and t represents time. Yes, 
These are called delayed differential equations or time delay systems. Uh, that was 10. Okay. At three quarters, we've got 185 for Maryland and 120 for Michigan. Extremely close game. All right. <laughs> Toss of 16. In this play, a man's sudden appearance in the doorway, as though from the air, interrupts an argument in which another man explains, the promise that a stallion gives a mare, I gave that girl, after grabbing his rifle. In this play's second act, a man observes, we are only what we always were, but naked now, I am naked, and the wind, God's icy wind, will blow, as the curtain falls on a girl sobbing, I cannot, I cannot, over and over. In this play, a man is berated for suggesting other people think to go like saints, after which he says, I speak my own sins, I cannot judge another, and then angrily cries out, I have no tongue for it. That man in this play is hanged after insisting, I have given you my soul, leave me my name. Your bonus. This empire's ruler, Kul Tegan, commemorated in his, uh, in his Orkhan inscriptions, rides a snow leopard in an elaborate history painting honoring Nur Sultan Nazarbayev of Kazakhstan. Freedom points each. Name the 6th to 8th century confederation of nomadic tribes under the leadership of the Ashina clan, which stretched from the Black Sea to Mongolia. They may have originally been blacksmith vassals under the Rura Khanate. No, these are the Gokturks, or the Gokturk Khanate. Uh, Oghuz Turkic soldiers from modern-day Kazakhstan founded this Persianized empire in the 11th century, whose ruler Al Arslan crushed the Byzantines and massacred. Yeah. Turkish national movement, nationalist movements draw, uh, often draw on elements of the Gokturk foundational myth, which holds that this specific type of animal, named Ashina, rescued their tribe in the Ergenikon mountain range. No, it's a wolf. Or more specifically, a gray wolf like that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Where indeed? Toss of 17. <clears throat> After defeating Eurylochus at the Battle of Olpai, a man of this name allowed his Spartan enemies to escape and get into his squabble with the Ambrasiots. In another victory, a commander of this name encircled Epitatus' hoplite unit with redeployed triune rowers carrying rocks. In 425 BC, a general of this name fortified Pylos into a safe haven for escaped helots, then won the naval battle of Pylos to maroon 400 Spartiates on an island in Navarino Bay. That general's capital. Um, that's not her. That general's capture of these Spartan prisoners at the Battle of Spacteria forced Sparta to agree to the peace of Nicias. That general, who was executed with Nicias after the Sicilian expedition, shares his name with a man who shaved half of his head to force himself to stay inside and hone his craft. This name is shared by a rival of the Eschines, whose on the crown speech recounts his, his, his history of opposing Macedon. Their points give this name shared by an Athenian general and the Greek orator who delivered ten Philippics. Your bonus, most of John Webster's collaborations with other playwrights who works in this genre, such as Anything for a Quiet Life and A Cure for a Couple, for ten points each. Name this bitingly satirical genre of Renaissance drama. Thomas Middleton's prolific output in this genre includes A Chase Made in Cheapside, the Thomas Decker collaboration The Roaring Girl, and A Mad World, My Masters. Correct. Uh, this earliest genre of, earlier, sorry, not earliest, uh, genre of Renaissance comedy relies on broadly drawn characters exemplifying certain stock personality types, as indicated by the title of a seminal play in this genre about Noel and his servant Brainworm. So, humor play. Right. Every man and his humor was written by this comic playwright of Bartholomew Fair, who created the con artist Space and Saul. <coughs> Task 18. In a short story, a young man tasked with picking out one of these beings among a group of maidens playing hawk and chickens is rewarded with a mysterious letter for his father, the mayor. In that story, the iron claws of one of these beings leave marks on the throat of a maiden who chops off its hand and drowns herself in the pond beside her father's house. In another story, one of these beings stomps on the earth, turning it translucent with fire and enabling a youth to see the treasure buried under his feet. In that story, a man suffering from amnesia regains his memory upon seeing one of these beings and throws his axe at her. It's a witch.
A planned 1952 strike in this industry prompted Harry Truman to seize several of its facilities. We can't teach. In this industry that was the subject of the Supreme Court's Dumbstown decision. This governor of Ohio rose to national prominence by handling the 1919 Great Steel Strike. He went on to lose the presidential election in 1920 to Warren Hardy and to found a namesake communications conglomerate. That's right. Uh, the CIO organized this 1937 strike in which the CIO squared off against the Republic Steel Company and Youngstown Sheba II. It's called the Little Steel Strike. Yeah, 20. <coughs> Class of 19. Dividing the area over which this phenomenon occurs into multiple discrete sections increases the isoplanetic patch radius. The Tatarsky model of this phenomenon assumes a Gaussian random distribution with a second order structure function. SIDAR and the Hofnagel Valley model are methods for constructing the C sub n squared profile of this phenomenon in order to compute the Greenwood time constant and the free coherence length. A technique for mitigating the effects of this phenomenon uses a reference laser 2 to the 589.2 nanometer emission line of sodium in order to create a guide star. Other corrective devices for this phenomenon... Uh, no. Okay, um, other corrective devices for this phenomenon include shaft part and wavefront sensors and lens based deformable mirrors. Can't point to this phenomenon that motivates the development of adaptive optics because it limits the resolution of images taken at astronomical observatories. I'll prompt you. Yeah, okay, it's atmospheric turbulence or optical turbulence or any number of other things. Uh, so, the points, uh, toss uh, the last. Notes players, composer and type of piece required. <laughs> Many parts of these musical compositions were written for their composer students, Julia Frassi and Katarina Galli. The, comp the composition of these works resulted in the incidental invention of the organ concerto, since their composer wrote and played his organ concertos as interludes during them. Near the end of their composer's life, an early one of these compositions in Italian was reworked by Thomas Morell. In the last of these compositions, written while their composer was going blind, the second part concludes with the chorus, How dark, O Lord, are thy decrees. The success of these works inspired their composer to abandon the Italian opera, a genre which he had composed in, within, in which he had composed such successes as Giulio Cesare, Ronaldo, Your bonus. Uh, one of these proteins associates with its namesake kinase to form the maturation promoting factor, which progresses from the G2 phase of the cell cycle to the S phase. Then we teach, name the set of proteins whose periodically rise to falling levels regularly pass through the cell cycle. Yeah. This protein prevents the G1S transition by binding to and inhibiting the E2F transcription factor. Mutations in this tumor suppressor protein, whose dysfunction inspired Newton's 2 bit model, can lead to the most common form of malignant eye cancer in children in RB. Yeah. Um, this kinase is recruited to double strand breaks, where it phosphorylates proteins involved in initializing the DNA damage checkpoint. Mutations in this protein lead to its name to disease distinguished by lack of coordination and small dilated blood vessels, in either the kinase or the disease it can cause. That's correct. Uh, <laughs>